No justice. At this moment in our country's history, immigrants are under attack. Their policy changes are happening on a regular basis that affect immigrant communities. And then that all is compounded by the pandemic. After the genocide in Cambodia and the ending of the war in Vietnam, the Vietnamese and Cambodian community were resettled into the Bronx. We were taken out of refugee camps and inserted into urban poverty. And so our cry and our call and our fight has always been about demanding to redo refugee resettlement. The New York Immigration Coalition is the largest statewide coalition representing the interest of immigrants in New York State. Mekong NYC, we provide social services to organizing as well as building intergenerational power through arts and cultural programs. I think of the New York Women's Foundation as a partner, not just as a funder. The staff is very accessible. They're always thinking about opportunities that they can support leaders that are not just around grant making. When we started Mekong, I wasn't expecting it to be the ED. I was just like, okay, I don't know how to do this, but I love my people. We'll figure it out together and we'll learn. We wanted to, to organize the community in a way that was transformative. The support of the New York Women's Foundation from the beginning really helped us build the confidence to become a fundraiser, to think about organization with the capacity, and then to meet all the other grantees. Like, I'm among amazing thinkers. That investment has really allowed me to think big. The days will go on! Woo! I'm here to say, like, the foundation's funding has real impact. We took a case all the way to the Supreme Court to block the citizenship question off of the census. It was an incredible victory, and the New York Women's Foundation funding helped us to do that. <laughs>